Yep, I up and did it. I got caught. No, I wasn't running from the law. I wasn't escaping from jail. I wasn't running from a bad animal. I got caught in my pajamas. I tried to look my nicest. Well, sort of. A lot of days I will put on my earrings and jewelry and look pretty decent. The other days I'm just a try. But it was Saturday and I thought nobody is ever going to come by here today. I'm going to curl up on the couch and I am going to watch football. College football. My Alabama game. Well, best way to do that is in pajamas, I think. So, I'm wandering around in my pajamas, and what do you know? Knock, knock, knock. Yep, somebody was at my door. So I go slipping up to the door and crack it open a bit. And I looked out, and there was my neighbor. And I says, it's Jimmy Day. But you know what? That was perfectly all right because she understood. And better than that, she had a big bowl of piping hot mac and cheese in her hands. You know, the baked kind. Now, I tell you, I'm from the South, and I just don't think there's any kind of baked cheese, uh, mac and cheese, except the baked kind. You can have that other old box stoves and the stuff you stir on the stove. Mm -mm. But she had brought me this bowl of mac and cheese, and it, I just like, well, come right on in, even though it was in my pajamas. But she didn't stay, and I curled up on the couch with a big bowl of, of that mac and cheese, and I watched my football game. I guess we all are kind of... Um, we deserve a day every once in a while to just be lazy, to do what we want to, to to, in, to just bum around. We try too hard to be something that's set in our minds all the time. But if the idea comes to you and you want to just break, break out of that box, you want to get caught that's the good kind of getting caught so it's okay to look nice but every once in a while treat yourself to a jimmy day mac and cheese